Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Build with me, Engineer. I've decided to um, change the format of the Let's Build series. Uh, it's a number of reasons. The first one is I don't really like building while recording. I get stressed out and um, I use too much time and I'm thinking about how much I have to edit everything I do something wrong. So I'm not that good of a builder while I'm recording. The other reason is um, it takes up a lot of space on my computer since I'm um, uh, using so many hours building. It gets like, you know, maybe a 500 gigabytes of uh, movies just for one build. And the third reason is it gets too many episodes, so I don't think it's that interesting for you guys to watch it. Um, so instead, we're going to take uh, my creations one by one and um, i just show you the complete creation and maybe rip it apart, show you the mechanics, show you how I made it work instead of the complete build. And since we uh, left off with the uh, sightseeing bus, I think we should start with that one. All right. So let's start to land this thing and uh, get going. There we go. Stop the gyro. Try to reset the gyro. There we go. And as you can see, as all my creations I seldom get more than uh, 4, 5 frames per second. Okay, let's find a good place to um, show the mechanics of this one. You have seen most of it. We have done the suspension and we're done the you know the sightseeing seat platform thing so it's uh, really only the guido left alright this is a nice place so I will be mostly putting the creations on the lift while recording and I guess you see why what's the door again for? Alright, I will start by uh, ripping off some of the blocks on the back here so we get into the gyro and I probably fast forward it because this is not really very interesting to watch all right oh shit you know what I forgot I forgot to take a backup two seconds okay I put the blocks back on and uh, taken the backup, so let's try that again, okay? All right, I think that's it. Um, where to begin? I think we actually build a gyro like this next to it and then I will explain it. Alright, I think we have to build it on the side of the bus because I need the lift and if I use the lift on the gyro the bus will stand on the ground and we get uh, 5 FPS. So let's do it here. Okay. As you see, the 
Gido is mainly wood. That's because that's the lightest material, I think. Three, four, five. Two. Sheet. Two, three. I don't think I will be able to talk much while I'm doing this. My brain isn't made that way. That's basically it. So it turns freely here, and it turns freely here. This doesn't really matter. And by uh, connecting these two to an electric engine, they will spin around this one in that direction and this one in the other one, or it doesn't matter, but they have to go either directions. And by doing that, the middle part stays stable. And since that one stays stable and all these other parts move, if the sightseeing bus moves, the sensor will pick it up. So the one on the top, if the front of the bus goes downwards, this sensor will hit this edge, right? If you see it from the side, if the front goes downwards, that top edge will hit this top sensor, and that activates the front thrusters. Underneath, the same happens, but it hits this edge. Well, it was an edge here. I removed it, but it was sticking out like the one on top here. And if it tilts sideways, you have sensors here, and they will hit the frame of the gyro. And that way, they activate thrusters on the sides. One on each side. So no matter what, the sizing bus does in air, it will get stabilized by the sensors and the guido in the back and the thrusters of course. Cool. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is uh, how the thrusters are all connected, how it steers and how it flies and uh, what the buttons do. So let's do it. Great. So the first button is to get the lift up, the sightseeing bus seats. The second button is to rotate it 90 degrees to the right and the third button is 90 degrees more. So we get 180. 
Button 4 is the door. Button 5 is resetting the gyro, or unlocking the gyro in this case. I forgot to mention that the gyro has to be, or the sizing bus has to be on a flat area when you start the gyro, or else it won't work. So by having this uh, resetting function, you can have more than one flight without putting the bus on the lift. But number six is starting the gyro. But I think we have to move it because we're right underneath these pipes. Okay, this should work. As you can see, all the thrusters activates when I drive. That's because even in flight, I stare the sightseeing bus with uh, double UASD. Okay, let's find the flat area. Alright. That should do it. So, unlocking the gyro. Starting the gyro. And by pressing 7, I activate the first thrusters. And 8 is more. And right now, I'm not pressing any buttons. And then I can activate or deactivate flying thrusters. And if I want more, I push 8 to get more up. And again, WASD steering it. And you can see the thruster, no, you can see the gyro working. Okay, we've tried to land. And I, uh, I'll show you the connecting tool and how everything is connected. It's of course a spider web. Has to be. And the thing about this bus is it's actually easy to fly. I think it's uh, one of my only creations. Maybe except the flying Batmobile. That it's actually possible to fly. Alright. Then we can stop the gyro. And you see it's a bit wonky. Then we can reset it. Oh shit. Yeah. And then it's ready for use again. So let's get it on the lift and I can show you the spider web underneath. Yeah. Not sure how to show this, but okay. We have one engine for the wheels. Then we have one electric engine for the gyro. things are shown you. This thing is helping me steering with thrusters. I've seen this before. This one is activated by the steering, the A and D, and by having sensors here, this activates the thrusters when this get in the way, right? I think that's it. So, I hope you like this uh, format of the Let's Build series more than the, the last one. This way I can uh, do all my creations, even those who I didn't uh, record creating. So I can show you the, 
Batmobile with the Batbike inside, and I can show you the flying Batmobile, and I can show you, yeah, I can show you everyone, and how I did it, and uh, it won't take like six or seven episodes, we should be able to do it in one episode. Alright, so tune in next time, and we'll uh, take another creation. Okay, bye guys.